This is a production of the Your State Ministry of Information and Civic Orientation. The state of the heart glamour of the coronation ceremony of the 21st Shangwa of Ugumosho land, His Imperial Majesty Obafolabi Gandhi Olawi Urumogege III, head at the Shangwa Ugumosho Stadium, was better experienced than imagined. By the powers conferred on me as the executive governor of your state and in exercise of the powers I hereby confirm Opa Gandhi allow you Oruma Gege the third as the Shaun of Ogomasha land. Presented a staff and instrument of office to the new king, the executive governor for your state, Engineer Shiyimakinde, said the contest for the Ogbomosho throne is behind us. The governor appealed to those who have any court case against the selection of the new king to withdraw them for the good of Ogbomosho land. In this or your state, I will call you a Bamalosi court. And after 20 years, he went all the way to the Supreme Court. One year, Obana. As of today, I tell you about one year, at I want to call the court one year, but, and the people of that community present all the benefits after 20 years. So the people fighting, they should stop forthwith. But me as the executive governor of your state, I don't want to know and I will fight. to ensure peace and to ensure progress for Gumasha land. By ensuring pay anything, the government is about Lagbara, Lati Vibanwaja, Mafi Banwaja. The 21st Shangwa Fugumosho, in his acceptance speech, titled My Dream and Reality for Gumasha Land, appreciated God for finding him worthy of the royal position. Appreciating Governor Makide for playing his part in the fulfillment of his divine mandate as king, Obagandi pledges to serve with dedication and selflessness regardless of religious or political affiliations. He said his vision for a 25-year developmental plan of Ogbomosho will be unveiled in the coming months. As your sovereign leader, I promise to uphold the values of our tradition that defines us a commitment to justice, a commitment to equity, a commitment to fairness to all, and most especially, a love and compassion of God. Let this be our watchword for Ogbomosho land, that when they mention great cities in this world, Ogbomosho land will be amongst those that will be mentioned by the grace of God. The ceremony was honored by dignitaries, including the former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibajo, the Governor of Kwara State and Chairman Nigerian Governors Forum, Abdulrahman Abdulazak, represented by his deputy, Kayo Dialabi, and the Executive Governor of Oshun State, Senator Ademola Adeliki, who mounted the podium with his famous dance steps. Also, high-ranking royal fathers, including the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Obadiye Yeni Togusi, the Ulu of Wali Ogia Meatuase, among others, with their presence, expressed their solidarity with the new king. In his address, Professor Yemio Sibajo, who appreciated Governor Makinde for endorsing the people's choice as the Shangwa of Ugumosho, described the new king as a man of integrity who relates with people in love. 
oni fe eyan pupo ani ko ta ma ri ni bi lo gbo mo so ni ife yen to ro ni ife eyan pupo ko se ti o ni fe o de ma fi fe yen o gbo ana la de ma ri an nkan kan to e pe e tun ri pupo e ni pe o lo to ni o nkuro ko ko ye ko ba se ri na ni e o jo lo to o de ni fe eyan o la won yi o ni fe awon eyan e Citing the profile of Obagandi, the Ohio State Commissioner for Information and Civic Orientation, Prince Dotun Yilade, described the new king as a successful multinational businessman and influential community leader who has served with many global leaders and has traveled to over 65 countries of the world. His Imperial Majesty Obagandi Afolabi Olauye Orumo Gege before recognized Nigeria by former Nigerian president, Olushe Gombasado, in 2001, and the United States of America by President Barack Obama in 2011. Helen is welcome address, the Oyo State Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters, Honorable Shegwala Iwala, appealed to the new king to work hand in hand with the state government for the prosperity of Ogbomosho land. We rejoice with the sons and daughters of Ogbomosho, home and abroad, on this occasion, we also thank the Almighty God who has made this possible. Enough credit must, however, be given to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Oyo State, Governor Sheyima Kinde FNSC, for the approval of this issue, without which there wouldn't have been the ceremony of today. Your Imperial Majesty, when the righteous reign, the people rejoice. We pray that things of joy and rejoicing will be unending in Ogomosho, in Oyo State, and in Nigeria, as instruments and staff of office are handed over to you today. As part of activities of the coronation ceremony, the church service held earlier at the Ogbomosho Baptist Conference at Oumale witnessed a massive turnout of Christian bodies across various denominations with the presence of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, who anointed and prayed for the new king, his wife, and the kingdom of Ogbomosho land. In a sermon from the book of Acts chapter 15 verse 18, Pastor Adeboye said, No one on earth is here by accident and everyone has a destiny to fulfill. Taking the Bible reading from Psalms 21, the king appreciated God for making the day possible, acknowledging the place of God in his new kingdom. Obagandi, who promised to be a king to all, expressed strong belief in the prospect of Ogbomosho land. I like Pastor Dibu, I love him because I'm not very excited like I'm today. The, the person who anointed and made hands on me to become a pastor was the same person who made that God wanted to I rule this place with justice, equity, and fairness. I will not be the king to Christians alone. I will be the king to Muslims. I will be the king to traditionalists. I will be the king to every son and daughter of this land. Expressing their delight on the ceremony, which was attended by the President Nigerian Baptist Convention, Reverend Israel Akonji, prominent sons and daughters of Bomosho land, including the former Minister of Youth and Sport, Agba Akin Sunday Dari, the wife of the former Governor of Oyo State, Chief Mrs. Kemi Alawa Kala, among others, urged all indigenous and residents of Bomosho to join forces with Oba Gandhi. The coronation ceremony is historic. Um, like uh, Gio Baba Adeboye said, that this has been predestined from the foundation of the earth. So it is historic, historic for Ogumasholan and our people. The fact that we're having a peaceful transition from about Oyewumi Ajangbade the third to another Kabi city show of Ogumasho, I think is a tin of joy. And Ogumasho is set on a new trajectory of development 
under this new Shohun, who has decades of experience of leading people and also a man of God. It's a glorious day today. The constant thing in life is change. We have a change, we have a new Oba. And then the significance is that Daddy Gio actually came to anoint our king. It is massive for us. And we know that with our Oba there, this land will be blessed. We have a new imperial majesty that is being loved by everyone, everyone at home and in diaspora. We could see that from the day that he came into town on the 9th of, on, of September, 8th of September. The jubilation in town up to today, everybody shouting hallelujah, we thank God. Because we know he's going to make Ogumashaw to develop more. He's a man of vision. He has a mission. And we know that he wants to bring Ogumashaw to El Dorado. In fact, <laughs> I must tell you that in some few years to come, you'll be thinking of Goma is another Dubai by the grace of Almighty God. So we are so happy to have him. According to the head of Ogbomosho Kingmakers, High Chief Shobala Jotolori, who called on all factions of the Ogbomosho ruling houses to join forces and support the new king of the land, said the massive show of support for the new king from far and wide across all political or religious divides is a testament to the beginning of greater things in Ogbomosho land. Uh, when you are struggling for something, I mean, if it is election, someone, someone is going to win. By the opponent, we never surrender until <laughs> some time. So that is what is going on. But uh, we thank God that uh, people love the king, which we have elected. And we sure that we are on the right path. But we are planning to them to stay cool and cooperate to de develop their, their town. You know, most of our people are staying around the whole world. Even some people have been away more than 40 years without coming home. But now that we are having a group of them, they should come out to develop Ogumaso. We are inviting them to join hand to develop Ogumaso. All drums were out within the Ogumaso Palace days ahead of the coronation with symbols of celebration mood for Obagandi strategically noticeable across the nook and cranny of Ogbomosho land. Leaders of traditional worshippers from the five local government areas in Ogbomosho zone were not left out of the pre-coronation celebration as they also displayed stunning magical performances. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it is a new dawn in Obomashaw, the land of the valiant.